all right have and have not fans you know the drill hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any new content on the channel first off before i get started let me give a shout out to all the virgos on the channel i know in recent videos i mentioned that we do have a possible two hour event on august 28th three's a crowd and a father wait hang on Three's a crowd, a father's regret, I believe, were the two episodes that, according to zaptoit.com, will be airing on the 28th of this month. And I keep saying, you know, I know it's not official, but I'm going to claim it is a special gift to me for my birthday coming up on the 29th of August. So I know after I said that in multiple live streams and videos, I've had a bunch of people saying, my birthday is the 28th, mine's the 29th too, August 14th. That's my birthday when the show comes on. So yeah, all the Virgos, shout out. Let us enjoy our time this year. But anyway, um, I wanted to kind of uh, go back to my video. I think it was episode leaks for the trailer, uh, the damp. Or what was it? The damn defibrillator. Uh, I, I it, it was brought to my <laughs> it was brought to my attention in the comments section uh, several times that uh, when describing the purpose and what a defibrillator was in the actual episode leak video, I was actually describing a pacemaker, not a defibrillator. Defibrillator, those like two uh, things that. You know, paramedics rub together and go clear, and then they send an electric shock to someone's heart to uh, keep them conscious. And I believe, and I'm going off of memory here, that the episode synopsis was, you know, David may be in, what was it? David may still be in the hospital, but Veronica's in for a shock of her own. Now, based off the fact that a defibrillator is something involving an electric shock, and then the synopsis says, you know, Veronica is in for a shock of her own. Um, in the video, I talked about multiple reasons she could be shot. Maybe she finds out Melissa wasn't really pregnant. Maybe she finds out that David survived the explosion. Uh, maybe she finds out that uh, d -d 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 Justin was the one that tried to run her off the road, as well as a list of other many things that could surprise her. What if she's the one that has a heart attack or something and she's in need of medical attention and then the defibrillator, the damn defibrillator doesn't work or something like that? Because you know how usually the title of the episode is repeated in the actual episode. Uh, you could say that, well, maybe because David's in the hospital, he's the one that's going to have heart trouble and needs to defibrillate it to maintain consciousness. That is the most likely case because him being in the hospital makes sense that the defibrillator is there in case he needs it. But I think it will be very interesting if Veronica's the one that's in a situation when she needs the uh, defibrillator to help her out. It would be kind of funny if somebody's like, clear and it doesn't work and it's like what's going on it's like uh, there's some kind of rubber or substance that's blocking the shock and then you know it turns out to be her implants or excuse me her real breast <laughs> i mean it would it would be funny but not funny like when she got stabbed and by jeffrey but then it turns out it just bruised an implant and it was kind of funny but yeah that, that, that'll be funny if you ask me but yeah um i just wanted to do a quick correction video so thank you for pointing out that i didn't give the right description but at the same time by talking about it after going back to find out what the defibrillator really means it actually makes sense to the context of the episode synopsis where veronica herself may be the one who's on the receiving end of the defibrillator it would be funny as hell if veronica well it wouldn't be funny but you know what i mean she is going through something, maybe has heart trouble or whatever. I don't know, heart trouble or food poisoning. I don't know, whatever this happens. But Alice, her maid, the one we haven't seen in a while, but the one she treats like crap, is the one that finds her on the floor. Would she call the paramedics? That is an amazing... I think that would be hilarious to have one character who you really wouldn't expect to be the one that Veronica would have... The, her fate in the hands of like you know Alice having Veronica's fate in her hands what would she do it's like I mean wow I mean I know she needs that money but at the same time it's like well this woman treats me like shit anyway so let her suffer for a little while she'll probably let her uh, ride around on the floor for several minutes while Veronica struggles to call Alice and whatever and then Alice walks in and then sees what's going on and calls 911 they come to the defibrillator I could possibly see that happening and I would find it funny as hell. So that's my thoughts. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Uh, I know the title of this episode might be like, what is a defibrillator or does Veronica, will Veronica have a heart attack? 
I think Veronica to have a heart attack would be good. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think is going to happen in the episode? Subscribe if you haven't done so already, folks. Please help me reach my goal of 40,000 subscribers before episodes air on August 14th. We can do it. I feel it. We're less than 1,500 people away. So, get out there. Share my videos. Tweet my link to the channel. Just tell. Just tweet H-A-H-N. Hashtag H-A-H-N. Saying, hey, subscribe to this channel for having have not content. It, it, it will really mean a lot to me. Like, guys, it doesn't cost you a cent to go out there and just tweet or share my videos online. I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the damn defibrillator. Will Veronica have a heart attack? And I'll talk to you all soon.